This is the Vexilar FL20, the world's most advanced three-color flasher fish finder. Let's take a few minutes to show you how to use your new FL20 effectively on the water for finding depth, structure, and fish. Catching fish using real-time flasher sonar technology is really a quantum leap towards sophisticated angling techniques. You see, flasher technology is relatively old. It's been around for 30, 40 years, but the application of it for real-time sonar response has really come into its own in the last few years because anglers are starting to understand the true applications of flashers for real-time response. And today what I'm going to do is show you a little bit about how that real-time response can help you put more fish in the boat. Because today I'm fishing deep milfoil patches. I'm using a very powerful stick, a big one-ounce jig, and I'm fishing vertically in columns of milfoil. One of the big advantages many people say why they like flasher technology is it's real time. You know, it, as you see it, it happens. In shallow water, flashers are unbeatable because they can show you the depth in one or two foot of water. Liquid crystals have a problem because they tend to average things out and show you a history of what's happened. Say for example, we want to fish in a, a brush pile. And here I'll just use my real handle as the brush pile to give you an idea. As a liquid crystal unit would display this object, you would literally be past it before it would actually start drawing it on your screen. So your mind would say, oh, there's a brush pile there. Now I'm not saying it won't show the brush pile, it will show the brush pile, but it's delayed, it's history. With a flasher, it's instantaneous. So what you see is exactly what's underneath you for that instant. So if I want to fish this individual limb of a brush pile, I can literally hover the boat over the top of it and fish vertically. Now on some of the lakes in, in southern Texas where they have a lot of deep milfoil, the columns of milfoil may be 10, 15, or even 20 feet deep. They literally position the boat using a flasher over individual stocks of milfoil and fish vertically. With a liquid crystal, it shows you an average of what's down there, so you really don't have an idea where these pockets are in the weeds. So what I'm using today is some real power fishing. I'm using 50 pound test line. I'm right inside a thick weed bed with a 10 foot column of milfoil. Powerful rod, powerful line, a one ounce jig, and I gotta pull hard to get them in. Let me show you how this flasher technology can help you catch more bass this next season. Corrosion is a major factor in the marine environment. Crimped connections and exposed terminals need constant checking. Be sure these connections are tight. Repair and replace loose connections right away. Also be sure your battery is fully charged and ready to go at all times. Vexlar offers several beam angle configurations in several different transducer systems. Your system could come with any of these. Whichever style you have, be sure your transducer is plugged in and tightened down. Also check the cable for any cuts or breaks. Make sure the transducer itself is in good condition. Note any scratches or gouges in the housing. These can lead to performance problems due to a weak transducer. Also, for externally mounted transducers, be sure to adjust it properly so it can give you accurate readings. The gain controls how much signal you see on the circular display. It does not affect how much power your flasher is putting out. Rather, it controls how much of the signal that bounces back to the transducer is amplified. Keep the gain control set low. Turn it up only when you need to. Generally, for open water use, you will want to keep your gain set very low, turning it up only to maintain a good bottom signal. The range control sets the depth that the flasher will read to. There are five ranges available, 0 to 20 feet, 0 to 40 feet, 0 to 60 feet, 0 to 80 feet, and 0 to 200 feet. To determine the depth, simply match the color that the range knob is set to to the corresponding color scale on the circular display. For example, if the range control is set to the yellow 20-foot setting, look to the yellow ring on the display. If the range knob is set at the orange 60-foot scale, look to the orange ring on the display. To read the 200-foot scale, you must multiply the reading shown on the yellow scale by 10. Also, notice the 0 to 20-foot low power range setting. This sets the range to 0 to 20 feet, but with the output power of your unit reduced by 
Now, when you're fishing in waters with lots of weeds, or maybe even large schools of fish, you will find that the lowest setting on your gain is simply not low enough to clearly understand the signals below. With the 20-foot low-power mode, you can cut the output of your unit by 50% to make it easier to find true bottom in the weeds or to make it easier to find your bait within a school of fish. Now here's an example of a thick weed bed in normal mode. Here is what it looks like in low power mode. See how easy it is to find true bottom in the low power mode? This is one of the true advantages of Vexilar Flasher technology. The FL20's mode control operates the unit's day and night modes and controls the auto zoom feature. The three selections on the right, or yellow side, operate the flasher unit in the day mode, where the flasher's display is set to full brightness for maximum daylight visibility. The three selections to the left, or red side, set the flasher unit into night mode display. In this mode, the flasher display brightness is reduced for more comfortable viewing at night or in low light conditions. For both day and night modes, the first selection is the full view setting. This is the normal viewing mode that shows the entire water column using the full circular display. The full view on the yellow side will be where you will normally operate the unit. Switch to the other mode settings only when desired. The next section is for the 6-foot auto zoom. In this mode, the circular display is divided in half. The right half shows the entire water column from top to bottom. Read the depth using the red and white scale. The left half now shows a magnified view of only the bottom six foot. The bottom is here. Now this area becomes the zoomed in display of only the bottom six foot of the water column. The wide white scale shows the depths within the zoom area. The next zoom setting is for the 12 foot auto zoom. This mode works identically to the six foot zoom, except the magnified area is now 12 feet above the bottom. All Vexilar flashers utilize a three-color display system. The colors are designed to give you more information about the strength of the signals being displayed. Red represents the strongest of the return signals. Green represents the weakest of the return signals. And orange represents medium strength signals. Using this information, you can get a better understanding of the conditions below you. The colors can also help you determine the type of bottom content. Soft bottoms will show more orange and green than red. Harder bottoms will show more red and a narrower signal overall. Also, vegetation will show as weaker signals above the stronger signal of the true bottom. Well, Dave Gens is talking about how to use the FL20 on ice. But in open water situations, the FL20 is absolutely amazing to use for a couple of different reasons. The real-time response tells you instantaneously what's underneath the boat. Now, I'm here in the bow of my Ranger boat here, and my transducer is mounted right on my electric trolling motor. So I know that basically where I am is what's down here below me. Now, the FL20 has a lot of different range settings and different mode settings, but it's really quite simple to use for summertime. As Dave Gen says, you got to keep the gain low. You start from the off position, you go to the 20-foot range setting, and there you can see bottom. Let me show you now how the low power mode works to your advantage. You see, what you need to be able to do when you're bass fishing is to cut through the weeds and find out where true bottom is. Now, if I turned up the gain too high, the entire display would literally turn red. I hope you can see that there pretty easy. See, the whole thing turns red, and that's what most liquid crystals do. They turn black. That's their version of showing red. And the whole screen turns black, and you don't know where the depth really is. But if you keep the gain turned low, it focuses the transducer beam for a narrower cone. And if you shift to the 20 foot low power mode, it cuts the output of your unit by 50%. And now it allows you to see that true bottom is in nine feet of water. Let me do that again, just a second here. If I went back to normal mode, 20 foot, it looks like there's a whole bunch of red and there's weeds everywhere. In 20 foot low power mode, it cuts through all that vegetation to find what the true depth is. In this case, we're nine feet of water. A big advantage because from the surface, it looks like three foot of water, but actually it's nine foot of water. And if you can find a hole in those weeds, you'll be catching some big old bass. 
The idea of fishing with a flasher is quite simple. Because it gives me instantaneous response to what's below me, I can keep the boat exactly where I want the bait and the boat to be. Because wherever the boat is, I make sure the bait stays near it. So many times when people are fishing, they say, oh, the drop off is here, so they cast ashore. No, 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 the fish relate to this, the objects and the bottom. In this case, on this side of the boat, it's thin weeds, and on this side of the boat, it's too thick of weeds to fish. And the fish are right on this crease. So what I'm gonna to try to do is position the boat so I stay along this edge. Now, I'll just turn the boat a foot or two at a time, to the left or to the right, to make sure I keep bumping that weed edge. My casts aren't a country mile. My casts are right in front of the boat, or right off to the side where I know that, okay, I'm a little into it, that should be right on the edge and I'll keep tapping the edge, pulling the boat to the left, to, to clear, oh yeah, it clears up right there. And then I back away, and I know that the edge instantaneously is right underneath me. You can't do that with a liquid crystal. Liquid crystal units show you history. In other words, it shows you what you've gone over. My transducer is right on my electric trolling motor, so it's telling me what's directly below me. So if I keep my bait in the prime structure area where they're holding the fish, I'm just gonna catch more fish. It sounds really logical, but really uh, catching fish is a logical matter. If you keep the boat on top of structure, keep your bait in the structure zone, you're gonna be catching more fish. And flashers do that better than anything because it offers real time response. Come up to that edge. Boy, there's no doubt about the fact that that edge is very, very sharp. I don't know if I could stay on it any other way because it's just a matter of a foot one way or a foot the other. Some of our Vexilar field staff people down in Amistad, down in Texas, on Falcon, fish a lot of deep milfoil like this and won tens of thousands of dollars and I think at last count three bass boats by using this exact technique that I'm talking about here. It's very effective. But I'm, again, a lot of people don't understand. The locator shows you where the structure is. The fish relate to the structure, so you've got to keep your bait where the structure is. And in this case, you want to keep it down where the action is. And that's right down on those edges and we're right you know, it's an imaginary line in my mind, but I must be right on the edge here because if I go this way, it's too thick. If I go this way, it's too thin. So I know that I'm right here on the crease. So I'm just going to keep working down this crease until I find them. There's one. There it goes. Yeah. <coughs> Whoa. That's, that's what it's all about, folks. That's kind of full contact fishing. Heavy line, big jig and your FL20 will help you catch more bass like this. I guarantee it. You gotta try it. Here we go, guy. There we go. Here we go. <laughs> Another little one. Little fish with big dreams. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> I love it when, when they pull my string, yeah! <laughs> Heavy line, big rod, nice fish. Here's an example of what we're fishing along here so you can see in real life what's happening and how critical boat control is. With the use of the flasher showing me real time elements of what's below the bow of my boat, I can hover the boat literally over specific stocks of weeds. Here, I'm reached all the way to 12 foot of water and got a good bottom content. But if I move the boat over just a foot or two to the right, you'll see that the whole screen will light up. That's the advantage with flasher technology, it gives you real-time response. See, I'm just touching the edge of the weeds here, and boom, there's a clump of weeds. I'll back the boat away, and hold the boat right there. That's what I'll cast into with my jig. It's that kind of pinpoint boat control that you need to be able to stay on top of fish. Well, this is the edge, right on it. This is where they should be. Keep the bait right over where those fish are. Oh, there's one. Yeah, good fish. 
Good fish. Yeah. Oh, come on, you bugger. Yeah. Flasher sonar technology. It's fun to use, it's easy to use, and it helps you catch fish like this. So you got to use some flashers. Man, that's a nice fish. Your new Vexilar flasher is sure to give you many hours of great fishing fun. Just remember these basic steps we've talked about today. Battery. Make sure you have a full charge and good connections. Transducer. Make sure your transducer is in good condition and properly connected. Gain. Keep the gain low. Only turn the gain up when you need to. Range. Always use the shallowest range you can for the best resolution. Mode. Use the day full view normally and other modes when desired. And remember to check your Vexilar owner's manual for more insightful tips. And if you get a chance, check out Vexilar.com for up-to-date fishing tips and information that'll make you a better fisherman. That's www.vexilar.com.